In these problems, we're talking about equivalent forms of division problems. And what we mean by that is, well, for example, if you have 4 divided by 2, you know the answer to that. It's going to be 2. An equivalent problem to that would be 8 divided by 4. That also equals 2, and that's what makes them equivalent. And you can kind of see when you look at 4 and 2 and 8 and 4, they're related to each other. One's in one of them, the numbers are just both twice as big. Uh, you could have 16 divided by 8, that equals 2, that would be another equivalent division problem. So that's the idea that we're working with here. This first problem says, which forms an equivalent division problem for 270 divided by 18? And then calculates the quotient. So just uh, a reminder, the quotient, that's the answer in a division problem. Probably the first thing I would do is just go ahead and use my calculator and divide 270 by 18. And you would find out that that equals 15 if you punch that into your calculator. When I look at my answer choices here, I see that there's only one of them where the answer comes out to be 15. So I know that's probably going to be our equivalent one. And when I look here and here, um, if you divide 270 by 9, you would get 30. If you divide 18 by 9, you'd get 2. So that makes sense that these two are the equivalent forms of this division problem. Let's look at another one. They get a little bit trickier. This one says, which forms an equivalent division problem for 3 divided by 1 fifth, and then calculates the quotient. Well, you could plug that into your calculator, although 3 divided by 1 fifth might be a little bit tricky to do. One thing I like to do when I see a, a, a fraction like this, a 5 on the bottom, if I multiply both of these pieces by something, it's still going to be a, an equivalent division problem. And when I see a 5 on the bottom of the fraction, that tells me I might want to multiply everything by 5. So if I do that, 3 times 5 is 15, and 1 fifth times 5 is actually 1. So 15 divided by 1 would equal 15. And lo and behold, that's our answer. Let's look at one more here. This one's quite tricky. It says, which forms an equivalent division problem for 24 and a half divided by 3 and a half? And again, you could probably punch that into your calculator. You could maybe make it a little bit easier on yourself by typing in 24.5 divided by 3.5, and you'd get an answer. One thing that occurs to me to do when I see that, that one halves here, a 2 on the bottom, is to multiply both of these numbers by 2. That would be 48 plus 1, that would be 49. And then we have our divided by, and then, let's see, 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 half times 2 is 1, so that'd be 7. And I get 49 divided by 7. Well, I know that equals 7. And, aha, uh -huh, it's also our answer. So that's a little bit of work with equivalent forms of division problems.